Pacific Reserve is located at the intersection of Duns Road and the Mornington Tyab Road. The main vehicle entrance is located on Duns Road, but as I am on foot, I am using the access path between the lake and the reserve itself. This flock of geese are happily grazing on the high land above the lake. Entry to the Rose Garden from the car park is via this nice pergola. The view from the pergola is pointing directly at the central pavilion. So here I am in the uh, pavilion in the centre of the Rose Garden and although there's, it's autumn now and the uh, roses are not in full bloom there is still a strong scent of rose perfume in the air. So let's take a walk and see what we can see. Yellow roses and pink apricot roses apricot roses and pink roses little pink uh, patio roses by the look of it They'd be nice in pots on your uh, pa patio in your barbecue area. So basically the, uh, the rose garden is circular and it's arranged into one, two, three, four circular beds around the central pavilion. I must come back again in springtime or early summer when the roses are in full bloom one good thing about this area here is there are plenty of seats for a weary foot passenger to sit down and catch his breath. Uh, that feels better. I'll sit here a while and rest my weary bones. This is a very shady area and would be an excellent place for a, uh, a picnic in the, in the spring or the early summer. I don't think it'll be too good in high summer because it's very exposed here and it will get quite hot. It is very quiet here even though we're on the main Mornington to Tyab Road and up the corner of Duns Road there's not much traffic noise as you can hear and there's very few people here. Okay so what I think we'll do now is I'll take a walk with you right around the perimeter of the Rose Garden. Well here's a nice oak tree somebody's planted it should be really magnificent, a magnificent, I'll say that again, a magnificent specimen in about 200 years time. Should, now here's some sort of um, sculptural thing. Let's go and have a look at that. Okay, it's definitely got a floral motif uh, to suit the surroundings and as usual there are plenty of seats for the weary traveller to rest and enjoy the scenery. Now these are my favourite types of roses, sort of apricot yellowy pinky roses. I like the purple standpipe for watering the garden. Someone's got a sense of humour. 
and here's some roses on a climbing frame looks good there's another one over there and of course we've got the mandatory seat for us to sit on I'm not sure what we've got here so let's have a look and uh, see if we can find out maybe it's some sort of raised viewing area ah oh, yes that gives us an elevated view of the rose garden That's the Mornings and Tired Road over there. Sorry about the sun. It's late in the day. And there's some sort of structure over there which I'll take a look at for you. And a nice little cottage over there. And of course a couple of seats. Well I'm not quite sure what this is. Maybe it's just some piece of um, rustic garden art which uh, somebody put together. Well this seems to be another piece of um, outdoor art. Let's go and take a closer look. If you are enjoying this video so far, could I ask you to hit the like button and also perhaps subscribe so you can be notified of more videos when they are produced. Thank you. Let's see what this cottage is all about. Ah yes, it's the administration building for the gardens and the Civic Reserve. Now this is what I call signage. Mornington Botanical Rose Garden and one large rock with a plaque embedded into it and here's a shed which I would imagine contains all the uh, plants and equipment needed to uh, maintain the gardens and keep everything neat and tidy and secure from robbers who might come in the night. And there's a hose stand pipe with a bowl for the dog. And 
that white building over there I'm pretty sure is the uh, Monique Peninsula Regional Art Gallery and that will be the subject of another video on another day. Okay I've wandered into an area which contains a couple of uh, trailers and heaps of uh, mulch to be used in uh, keeping the beds looking nice and fresh and mulching them down to preserve water. So I'll uh, just exit this area before I get into trouble. Okay I'm getting hungry now so time to go back to the central pagoda which we are entering into right now and we'll do a left turn and that'll take us back to that entry um, pagoda I guess you call it which will take us out onto the path and back down by the lake where we saw those gulls and those water birds I think they were swans I'm not really sure but anyhow let's go and take another look at those and then head off home 4.6 kilometers according to Google map from my house to these gardens here are the gates still open for me and we're done swans at all. I think they might be geese. Whatever they are they're not afraid of me that's for sure. I suspect that this uh, lake may well be part of some water reclamation scheme to provide water to irrigate the, uh, the gardens. Thanks for joining me on this tour of the Mornington Botanical Rose Garden. I hope you enjoyed it.